Nine! No! Nick, stop! Fire! 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 In blue. He's rushing ah! blue. <laughs> Hi, dudes. Welcome to another Operator How To. Today we're going to take a look at Bandit, Team Rainbow's resident German crackhead. <laughs> Bandit is a three speed roaming defender legacy operator. He has good weapons and a gadget that, should you learn how to use it effectively, will make you an incredible asset to your team. Bandit isn't particularly concerned with bringing a high tech piece of equipment to Rainbow Six's roster. Alright, Thermite, uh, what do you think you can bring to Team Rainbow? Fuel, metal oxide, and metal powder in just the right way. You're hired! What can you bring to Team Rainbow, Mr. Echo? Yokai can take care of them. Sounds good to me. Uh... <laughs> so what do, what do you do? I have a car battery. Uh... What, what are you doing? Stop doing that! Bandit's gadget is the shotgun box. He carries four of them and they can be set on reinforced walls to prevent hard breaches from destroying them. He can also place these boxes on deployable shields and barbed wire, which can deny drones and shield operators. He can also place his box on a mirrored wall to keep it from getting blown by Habana's pellets. That magic number four is something to consider strongly in a number of different sites, since there's nothing wrong on certain sites with setting down your four boxes and going for a deep roam. However, for instance, on the garages of Consulate and Chalet, and the server and jacuzzi walls on Clubhouse, Bandit plays an important role of using his whatever remaining batteries he has to do what's called a bandit trick. A good bandit can trick out Habana's fidget spinners and Thermite's exothermic charge by waiting for the sound cue, then placing the box on the corresponding wall. This is something that I can't really give much advice on other than practice. These clips look good and all, but trust me, I spent a lot of time fucking up until I got to a point where I could get an idea of the timing with the battery placement. Habanas are a little bit easier to trick because you can hear that fucking the the you know the noise it makes. But thermite sounds a little bit more like if you hear the ladder, get your battery down on the right wall ASAP, because once the sparks start flying, you're gambling with that thing blowing up in your face. If they go any further past halfway down, back off and prep a nitro maybe to counter a quick peek if you have a nitro. Bandit tricking is just one of those things you're only going to get down if you practice. Maybe get a friend in a custom game and just hash it out until you're really confident that you got it. Bandit is a very good roamer, but his ability to trick out Thermite's charges is what's going to elevate your play in Ranked. You can also blow out the walls a little bit before you reinforce them, and that'll make it just a little bit easier to hear. If you listen hard enough, you don't necessarily need it, but it's not going to take that much effort for you to do that, so why not do it? Just get your buddy with a shotgun to help out. In competitive, though, there are plenty of counters a smart team can do to get rid of you. The most obvious is probably Capital. There's not much you can do about that other than having a Roma harass with C4 or runouts. Which you can do, by the way. The fuck? As for grenades, Jaeger is probably Bandit's best friend. Keep an eye out for Twitch drones, too. Ten seconds. Bomb location you can stop worrying about grenades now! Five seconds. <laughs> oh my god, are you crying? No, it's just raining. <laughs> Your other counter is the Hard Breach Doomer Maverick, who can, for instance, make a murder line in the bottom of the server wall on Clubhouse to route you out. Sometimes the C4 can do the trick of dealing with him. If you get good at bandit tricking, your teammates will love you, until you get flanked. To keep yourself from getting flanked, Ubisoft has given you a superb tool to do so, in the form of the MP7. It doesn't have that much kick for a gun with a combination of damage and fire rate like it. 32 damage, a quick rate of fire at 900 rounds per minute, standard 30 round mags. I run up with a compensator. As for sights, you can use whatever you like, or even use the default irons, which are surprisingly good looking. It's a headshot machine, and the combination of relatively low recoil with a high rate of fire has landed me more penetration kills than I really should have. Just go, go back second. I'm back off the pool. Side piano, I side piano. No way, I tried really hard to get some epic gamer clips with the M870. It's a very good shotgun, but perhaps not the best to use on this guy, unless you're playing really tight angles. Because if you want a gun that's really good in close quarters, you already have that. It's called the MP7. Op four, last operator standing. Nah. If you want to use the M870, embrace your inner German crackhead and just wide peek everything in hip fire. The German handgun is okay. I don't really like the sight picture on it. It's a little blocky. Mudroom. Ah! But it's better than nothing at all. Thanks. Greg, he's behind the pillar. I know. How is he not dead? Oh god, I alt-tabbed! Alright. 
Why Bob for last operator standing? Let's go. As far as C4 goes, you can run it if you like. You are a free speed, so you can take advantage of some sites where you can run outside, eat it, and then get a couple of easy kills. Bandit's a very good operator with something for everybody. If you like playing anchor, he honestly does a good job of playing in either a roaming or a pinch anchor if he needs to be one. If the walls get blown up, he can double back and focus on defending the site. Gunners will like his ability to move across the map very quickly and his good gun. And if you like anchoring, I think you should definitely consider trying him out because you're probably going to spend a little bit more time inside the site than you will your fellow roamers. I think Bandit's a great operator to lick your chops on until you unlock some other ones. And that's all you need to know about drugs. Ah! Ah! David, I need help. David. I need help. I need help. They have a blick that ate all their shots. Okay. What is it? How come Anthony's able to I run through this. that? Anthony, I, I hate you so much. Operation Embra Rise is finally upon us. Next operator how to is gonna be on Yaboyo Goyo with the fiery deployo. And then Mikasa from Attack on Titan will come up soon after that. But who should I review next? Vote on my Twitter. Link in the description. Also, a lot of these clips came from Twitch. So check out my Twitch channel. Deuces. Oh.